the geezer in the freezer by Randall Wright illustrated by Thor Wickstrom there's a geezer in our freezer and he's shivering fit to die with his feet upon a rum roast and his elbow in a pie maybe someone put him in there just to keep him for a while but it gives me crawly creepies because he's frozen there with a smile. I was hunting for some ice cream and I knew we had a stash right betwixt the Christmas turkey and the frozen corned beef hash. As I rummaged in that ice box, I was taken with a chill because I sensed two eyes upon me and I felt an eerie thrill. Then I spied him in the corner, huddled back amongst the peas. And I started in to holler, but he stopped me with a sneeze. It's so cold in here, he chattered. Could you let me have a coat or something warm and woolly I can wrap around my throat? Well, I shut the door right smartly. Wouldn't you have done it too? If a coot was in your freezer, with his edges turning blue. When I told Aunt May about him, she replied, Why, that's absurd. She's a little hard of hearing, so she shouted every word. Don't you think that I'd have noticed something like a chattering gent? Well, I guess she maybe would have, except her eyesight's nearly spent. Wasn't long ago I saw him. Aunt May sent me for some corn. He was shivering by the ham bone, and his face looked so forlorn. Can you spare a bite of something for me to warm up a touch? I'm so tired of eating snow crab, maybe chili beans or such. When I spoke of it to Auntie, she just squinted up her eyes. Like I said, her vision's failing, though she's hardy otherwise. Well, I think that freezer's haunted by the ghosts of supper's past, because I sometimes hear faint whispers. I was sorry now I asked. Twas a Friday night, I reckon, that I met him once again. I was off to fetch some taters from the garden produce bin. Sure shooting, he was in there. Icy hair just like before. With a frost upon his eyebrows, well, I had to shut the door. Now wait a gall darn minute, cried that geezer with a squeak. I don't think that I can take it. Not another blasted week. I kind of froze a minute, almost two, and then I spoke. What you doing in our ice box? Where are you from and where's your folk? Well, his eyes turned far and misty, and a tear ran down his nose, where it made a little rainbow in the light, and then it froze. Tis a tale that's long in telling, said the geezer with a sigh. But I reckon I should tell it once or twice before I die. I was sent to fetch some vittles by a woman I adore. And I paused in here to ponder on the joys of sweet amour. But I tarried much too long here, and I fear her love's grown cold. And I reckon she's forgot me, or she thinks my heart's turned cold. See, I met her in the springtime, uh, when a brush was on the rose, and we quartered through the summer, sipping sodas nose to nose. In the fall, we thought we'd marry at the church away in town. Then we'd snuggle up together while the winter hunkered down. But we never saw the snowfall, 
nowhere in autumn did we wed. I've been stuck here in this freezer, were the words the old man said. I can't budge one way or t'other. I can't even turn about. Guess I'm frozen here forever. Expect I'm never coming out. I was quiet for a second, but I couldn't hold it in. That old laughing, burbling, upward. First it started with a grin, then it burst right out with hiccups, and I rolled upon the floor. <laughs> I giggled, and I snorted till I couldn't laugh no more. Look here, you silly geezer, at that switch there on the right. It's a self-defrosting freezer. It'll do it overnight. Then I pushed the button for him, and I went upstairs to sleep. When I came back in the morning, there was water two feet deep. And that frozen pop was sitting on the stove with eyes aglow. While my Aunt May stood there squinting at her thawed out Romeo. Is that you, my frostbit pumpkin? How I've missed my darling man. That old gent just sort of giggled. Then he blushed and kissed her hand. Now that codger is our lodger, and he's living right downstairs in the room next to the furnace. Says he's done with Frigidaire's.